I just want to say hello everyone and welcome to the channel welcome 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 so my name is Sasha Monet and I just want to say welcome 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 first and foremost uh, forgive me if my voice sounds weird I've been under the weather for the past couple of weeks and yesterday I just recently got my voice back so uh, forgive me if I have to uh, clear my throat and I'm sorry my voice sounds weird but um, I'm well just been kind of you know scratchy throat a little sore throat here and there I was forced for um, about a week but all is well so I just want to say welcome 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 to the channel um, I think we're at uh, 200 subscribers okay so uh, hallelujah for that <coughs> and um you know, it may it may be small, it may seem small to you, but I'm very grateful for all of my new subscribers. So at first, I was gonna do a um, <clears throat> a cute little video, and I was just gonna do a voiceover and edit it or whatever. But um, I'm a very personal uh, person and very intimate person, so I wanted to um, not go live, but I just wanted to do a um, in person video. So welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, of course, my name is Sasha Monet. <clears throat> Formerly, my channel on YouTube was called Pro Truth and Provoking Thought with Sasha Monet. But since the name of my ministry is called House of Prayer, then um, I changed the name of the channel to House of Prayer Ministries with Sasha Monet. But, um, you know, for podcast purposes or whatever, I still use Pro Truth, uh, the Pro Truth logo or the Pro Truth brand or whatever like that. So you may see that logo or whatever on the videos. But anyhow, um, the reason why I came up with the name Pro Truth and Provoking Thought and provoking thought for the podcast is because pro truth means that I stand for truth and provoking thought just means that I want to provoke your thought and get you to think about things that you may haven't um, thought about before okay so um, for those of you who don't know <clears throat> um, I am an evangelist okay um, you can refer to the uh, gifts the fivefold ministry gifts in the bible i'm sorry i don't have the um the book in the um <clears throat> in the verse but i'll when i edit the video i'll go back and add it or whatever um forgive me for saying I, uh, i'm all over the place trying to see trying not to leave anything out but anyway um so i am an evangelist okay i've been evangelizing for about three years now um, I am a biblical teacher, and I do know that um, Yah, God, okay, has called me to be a prophetess, but I do not go around uh, referring to myself as prophetess Sasha Monet or anything like that. No, I don't do that. Um, I just, you know, want to bring people to Yah, and just I just want people to be in the truth. So I just go by Sasha Monet, which is fine. Sasha is my first name, Monet is my middle name. And the reason I use both is because as a child, uh, people would, um, um, they would really mess up my name. Substitute teachers, uh, kids, kids, you know, kids can be cruel and mean. They would, you know, joke and make fun of my name. They would call me Sausage. Uh, Sasha, the substitute teachers would call me Sasha, Shasha, just all kind of, and I never could understand because my name is, is just a simple five letter name. Um, I used to think, you know, all you have to do is just take away the S and add a T and you have Tasha, you know, but um, so as a child, I hated my name. I, I did not like it. 
I didn't know why my mama named me that, but it wasn't until I got into my, I would say my 20s, maybe mid 20s. That's when I really began to embrace my name and love it because I think it fits me, it fits my personality, and it's different and it's unique. So you don't run across a lot of um, Sasha's on the day to day. So actually, now I love my name, I embrace my name. Um, my middle name is Monet, it's M-O-N-A-E. Actually, my first name means helper of mankind or defender of, of mankind. So I think that God is very intentional and very purposeful um, when he gave my mom the idea to name me that. So um, now I love my name, but that's just a little bit of background information about uh, my name or whatever. So like I said, I am an evangelist, prophetess, and a teacher. Um, I am 36 years old. Um, some people, uh, when I'm at work and stuff, they they think that I'm younger. <clears throat> the customers, they think that I'm younger than, than that. But no, I'm 36 years old. My birthday is in August. My birthday is August 2nd, 1987. So um, if it's uh, in the Lord's will, next year I'll live to see 37. I uh, was born and raised in the South. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, which is where I currently live. And um, I've been here all my life. Um, I love to travel. And um, I don't really do much. Um, typically, on an average day, I pretty much just work and go home. I have three children. My oldest son is 17. My middle child, he's a boy, he's 14. And then my baby girl is three years old. Okay, so yes, I'm one of those people who started completely over, but I finally got my girl. So, um, yeah, so I'll get to that. So, um, I am single. Um, I'm just waiting on God um, to, um, you know, for me to meet my, my future husband. I am believing in God for a spouse. Um, so I'm just kind of patiently waiting. I'm at a point of now where I'm like, okay, if I get married, I get married. If I don't, then I don't. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm not out looking because, you know, we know what the Bible says. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So, yes, I am single, but, um, you know, I'm open to dating. I am currently kind of dating someone kind of sort of I don't really know um you know where we're gonna go but it's not really anything serious right now but I am kind of casually dating someone actually who I really like but anyway enough of that so um this is my ministry okay I don't have a physical building or a physical church building but I do have a ministry which I take really really serious and it's called house of prayer ministries okay so um I will have to um, share my email on here. Um, for those of you who may not know, on Facebook, I just simply go by Sasha Monet on Facebook, okay? From time to time, from time to time, excuse me, I do go live on Facebook, okay? I haven't been very uh, consistent lately because, like I said, I've been under the weather for um, the past couple of weeks. But um, I do have several um, videos on Facebook if you ever want to go back and uh, watch any of those lives from Facebook. Um, what else? On TikTok, I am just Coach Sasha because I am a, lo a life coach. So um, on TikTok, it's just Coach Sasha. So I'm over there. I also put videos on TikTok. I haven't uh, done any new videos on TikTok because I've just been working and pretty much coming home so uh, when I get a chance get some free time on my hands I will definitely have to start um, putting some more videos on TikTok but I have been evangelizing for three years um, YouTube I started my YouTube channel I think about I think about two years ago but before I got on YouTube I had already been on Facebook evangelizing and doing lives over there so you will see me from time to time you will see me um go back and add videos from um maybe 2020 or 2021 2022 and and that's because that was a message that i did on facebook and it just means that i'm just getting around to adding it on youtube or i may have done some editing 
or whatever like that. So on my channel, um, <laughs> I do try to be uh, very open, very transparent, very straightforward, very direct. Um, I'm an open book, okay? I do not think that I know it all. I do not think that I'm perfect. Um, I fall short. The Bible says that we all fall short of the glory of God. Okay, even myself. I make mistakes. I fall down. Um, I do sin. But I do not take pleasure in sin um, because I know that it... Um, it grieves the Holy Spirit, okay, when we when we sin, but we were born into sin, okay, so, you know, we all fall short, we're gonna sin from time to time, but we need to not be willingly sinning and uh, living habitually in sin, so on this channel, you will hear me talk about sin, you will hear me um, talk a lot about repentance, you will hear me um, on this channel. You will hear me refer to God, okay, the creator. Uh, you will hear me call him by his true name, which is Yahuwah. And you will hear me refer to his son by his Hebrew name, which is Yahushua, okay. Or you will hear me say Yahushua HaMashiach, okay. So I've been saved for three years, guys. I got saved in 2020. Um, two, I was about to say 2021. But 2020, the summer of 2020, um, it was like June or July. I'm, I'm gonna say June in uh, 2020. So I've been on this walk with the Heavenly Father, with the Holy Spirit for about three years now. And I would not trade my relationship with the Heavenly Father for anything in the world. I do love him and I love his son. When I first got saved in 2020, um, I was not in truth and when I say that I was not in truth I mean that I did not know um, the Heavenly Father's true name and I did not know uh, his son's true name okay I know the world refers to the Messiah as Jesus Christ but um, that is not his true name and you will hear me teach and talk about that on this channel okay um, the Bible tells us to know the truth and the truth will set us free. So like I said, in 2020, I got saved. I gave my life to the Father and I became born again. I repented of my sins and I received the set apart spirit. Okay, the Ruach HaKodesh or either uh, what we refer to as the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I am spirit filled. I'm proud of it. I'm glad I wouldn't trade the Holy Spirit for anything in the world. The Holy Spirit is not an it. But he is, um, he is spirit. God is spirit, okay? So the Holy Spirit is not an it. But he is, um, he is spirit. Or what uh, the Christians call, um, you know, a part of the Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, Holy Spirit does have feelings, okay? The Bible says that we should not grieve the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is not an it. He is, um, God in spirit. And he does have feelings. So, um... Yeah, so I've been on this walk for about three years now, and like I said, when I first got saved, I was not in truth. Okay, I, I love God, and I love his son, uh, no matter what color um, I thought God to be at. Now, we know that Jesus is always depicted as white for the most part. We know that. Um, and it didn't matter to me at that point in 2020 because I knew what the Holy Spirit had done for me and in my life. I knew the sins that he had forgiven me for. I ha I've had encounters. I've had a few encounters with the Holy Spirit. So I do know that he is very much real. Okay. Um, I always was a believer when I was worldly or when I was carnal. Um. I was always a believer, but I was what you call a lukewarm Christian, okay? I grew up in a Methodist church. My great-grandfather was a Methodist pastor. So my great-grandmother, who is deceased now, she died in 2013. She would always take uh, me and my, my girl cousin and my cousins, we would always go to church. So we grew up in church. I have a very... Um, Christian background okay so I've always was a believer 
And, um, you know, we would go to church on Sundays. We would go to Sunday school and things like that. And so I grew up in church. And there is nothing wrong with church. You know, I'm I'm not against church. But there is just so much um, chaos in these churches. There's so much deception. There's so many shenanigans and things like that. And this is not the video for that. But I am not against church, so I do not want people to think that I'm against church because I'm not against church. What I am against are lies, okay? I am against lies that have been propagated and perpetuated in the church, but I'm not against church, okay? And one of the misconceptions about church is that um, church is just a physical building. But no, um, actually, church we are the church okay believers us who have been born again blood bought believers we are the church the ecclesia okay and so i would have to do a video talking about that i know i'm kind of all over the place but i'm just excited to be here and welcome you to the channel so like i said i am pro truth on this channel you will hear me refer to Yahuwah, which is God, our Heavenly Father. You will hear me refer to him by his true name, which is Yahuwah, okay? You will hear me refer to his son as Yahushua, and you will hear me talk about the Holy Spirit, okay? On this channel, you're going to hear me preach and teach about repentance. You're going to hear me teach and preach that um, so-called African Americans, that we are the true biblical descendants of the children of Israel in the Bible, you will hear me teach that on this channel, okay? Um, I know that to be true. Holy Spirit has given me several confirmations. Um, I've done my research. I have done my due diligence. And, you know, I just suggest that people do the same thing, okay? There are a lot of uh, black people who are... Um, who have not come into truth yet. A lot of our people... A lot of black people are still stuck in Christianity. A lot of our people are still stuck in, in religion and traditions of men. And a lot of our people don't know who we are. A lot of our people don't care who we are. But um, it is true, because I'm sure you have heard at some point that the um, so-called African-American are the um, descendants of the real children of Israel, the Israelites of the Bible. Excuse me. In fact, they were melanated people. They were colored people. In fact, the Bible is not a Christian book, but it is a book about Hebrews who happen to be black people. But what happened was our identity has been stolen from us. So the Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, he is waking up his children. He's waking up his people in the last days like he said that he would do. And so there is a great awakening that is taking place all over the world, okay? Our people are waking up all over the world and um, in mass numbers. And um, it's sad to say that a lot of our people um, are are going against us and saying, no, we're not the people. Um, no, we're not Hebrews. His name is not Yahushua. He was not black or whatever. Some of our own people are, you know, refuting the truth and debating and just, really don't want anything to do with it but um i suggest that people you know do their due diligence and uh you know look in the truth in the truth and look into the truth for themselves okay when i first got saved um i was just really seeking after the father i mean i really sought after him and um the more i sought him out the more he revealed himself to me and it wasn't until that i sought him out is when um i had a few encounters with the holy spirit and so i know him to be real and even before i got saved i always was a believer i always knew that he was real but the image that was in my mind was the image that they always depict okay and even before I got saved and even after I got saved, it never really mattered to me about the depiction, you know, about him uh, being portrayed as a white man with blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, that didn't matter to me because the Bible says uh, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, you know, I worshiped him no matter what color um, he was or no matter what color 
they depicted him as it didn't make any difference to me you know that was I'm like okay this is who saved me this is who died for me okay and this is who has forgiven me of all my sins and so I didn't think anything about it but um I want to say in 2020 is when the Holy Spirit began um not 2020 I think in 2021 or maybe 22 I think 21 is when the Holy Spirit began convicting me of using um, the name Jesus Christ and in 2021 that is when he revealed to me that hey that is not my uh, son's true name that is not my name my name is not God my name is not Lord and my son's name is not Jesus so I began to do my own research. He began leading me to channels on YouTube who were professing his true name. He gave me several confirmations of what his true name is and what his son's true name is. And so I've already prayed about it. Holy Spirit has already confirmed his name to me. And um, I have uh, embraced the truth. And I have chosen to come out of Christianity. And I have chosen to come out of falsehood. Okay. So, um, you know, if you are not a uh, person who loves the truth. If you are not a truth seeker. Then this may not be the channel for you. Also, if you are a man. And you believe that women should be silent. You, you believe that... Um, women should not teach you believe that women should not prophesy i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this is definitely not the channel for you okay i'm not gonna be silent and um i know what my assignment is i know what holy spirit has told me to do and i choose to fear god and not fear man okay so I know uh, my assignment, I know my purpose, I know what Holy Spirit has told me to do, I know the things that he has told me to say, and um, it can be very difficult at times, you know, being bold and, and preaching truth and standing on it, because when you are bold and when you're not teaching what mainstream Christianity teaches, then you can be looked upon as an outcast and you can be persecuted. But the Bible told us that these things would happen. In fact, the Bible says that we will be persecuted for his name's sake. And let me tell you, that name is not Jesus Christ. The name that we will be persecuted for is Yahushua HaMashiach. But, um... Anyway, however, so if if you are a man, you think women should not prophesy, you sh you think that we shouldn't teach or whatever, this is not the channel for you. If you don't love the truth, this is not the channel for you, okay? This channel is only for people who have a love for the truth, okay? So, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. I'm trying to see, am I leaving anything out? Um, let me see. I'm not leaving anything out. Um, I can't think of anything. It was something that I wanted to say. I was trying to um, be led by the Holy Spirit. And I was just, I know I was all over the place, but I was trying to cover everything and not leave anything out. And so now I know it was something that I wanted to say. I'm going to give myself a minute and see if maybe it'll come back to me. But if it doesn't, I'll end it right here. But let me see. What was it? It was something I wanted to say. I hate when that happens. I hate when um, I know I had something to say and then I can't remember it when I need to. Um, but anyway, maybe it'll come back to me. But however, I am a life coach. Okay. So if you ever want to set up a session, you can just um, comment on a video you can come in on this video right here and i will get that set up for you um my sessions are 15 dollars an hour but say um just say maybe you don't have the money listen it's not about the money okay my ministry is about winning souls okay winning as many souls as possible so if you um ever need someone to talk to just say maybe you were go you're going through something and you just need a listening ear someone who's not gonna judge you somebody who um is gonna encourage you or whatever 
you can call me, you can comment, you can email me, and I will um, set that up for you, okay? Um, I do want to say um, a life coach is a person who is pretty much a mentor, okay? A positive mentor, someone who is not judgmental, someone who is there to encourage you, someone who is there to support you and help you through whatever it is that you may deal, be dealing with okay it's, it's really pretty much just a mentor okay i don't know it all i don't have all the answers but i can say i do not look like what i have been through i can i can truly say that and i know that it's not because of me but it's because of my heavenly father for blessing me and keeping me okay um if it had not been for the lord on my side then i where would i be y'all know that old song um so i just want to say i love the heavenly father i love his son so much and i want to win as many souls as possible so please 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 i'm very transparent if you want to um um learn more about the bible uh if you just need a mentor if you just need a listening ear if it's anything that i can help you with then i do not uh, mind helping you and like i said it's not about the money at all i do work a full-time job and i am a single mother but um even if you don't have the money it's perfectly fine it's not about the money or anything like that um so please 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 if you would like a session please reach out to me and then we can get that set up okay um i do mentor men and women so if you're a man and you don't really feel comfortable you know getting advice uh from a woman then that's okay you know it's, it's nothing wrong with that but men women teenagers it doesn't really matter you can contact me and we will set that up and uh, get that session uh going um I don't really think, I can't really think of anything else that I want to say, but I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. You could be anywhere else. There's so many um, people out here. There's so many channels out here. And so um, just the fact that you came to this channel and you like what you heard or you wasn't really sure if you like what you heard or if I said something to spark your thought or your interest or whatever that it was the reason why you chose to subscribe I'm glad you that you did and I pray you know that you stay um, I, I'm gonna say this before I get ready to end we can agree to disagree as believers okay some of you may be Christians or, or whatever you want to refer to yourself as but as believers we do not have to agree on everything. Let me just say that I can disagree with you on something and I can still love you. But um, to love you is to tell you the truth. Okay. The Bible says that have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth. Okay. So um, if, um, you know, if we disagree or you don't agree with something that I teach or something that I share that's okay you know you don't have to unsubscribe because you may not disagree with it it just means you may not disagree with it it just means that maybe the father hasn't revealed it to you or maybe he hasn't confirmed it to you or whatever the case may be you know so that's okay it's okay for us to agree to disagree so i'm just so proud of my walk i'm so proud of what the heavenly father has where he's brought me from he's brought me from such a mighty mighty long way and i have a, lo a long way to go but i'm so proud of where he's brought me from thus far so um i think that's pretty much it um i do want to say this one thing before i get ready to go um i am not racist okay i love all people you will hear me say that from time to time in some of my videos i am not racist at all um i have a, bi a biracial nephew who is three years old he will be four in february okay his mother is white and my brother is black and and i love him i don't love him any less or any more than anybody else in my family i was told on um, my father's side of the family we have a couple of uh my little cousins i have two little girl cousins who are very young and their father is hispanic and my cousin she's a black female 
So, you know, I'm not racist, but the truth is the truth. Okay, so if it offends you that I teach that the Heavenly Father is black and that his son is a melanated Messiah, okay, a black man with woolly hair like mine, um, if it offends you that I teach that black people, so-called African Americans, are the uh, descendants of the true Israelites of the Bible, then you know, the truth is the tr truth. I'm sorry. And the truth, the Bible says, no, the truth and the truth shall set you free. Okay. So uh, the truth is the truth. And if the truth offends you, then this probably is not the channel for you. So um, I just wanted to put that out there because I do teach that the people who live in Israel, that those are not God's chosen people. Okay. I do teach that. I teach that they are imposters because that's what the book of Revelation chapter 2 Verse 9 in chapter, in chapter 3, verse 9 teaches that it calls them a synagogue of Satan and says that they are blasphemers and liars, okay? So, I didn't say it. The Bible said, said it. So, um, welcome, welcome, welcome again to the channel. And um, I'm so grateful that you are here, okay? Um, I do want to say this. Since I, I know I'm all over the place, forgive me, y'all. I know... I touched briefly um, about that I'm a life coach because I am. I do want to say this. Um, for those of you who may need a, a life coach, um, I left this part out. If you don't know, I used to struggle with depression for years. Many, 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 many years. In fact, I have a mini um, testimony on here. It may be about 30 minutes long. Um, it's it's called depression and anxiety or my testimony of depression and anxiety check that out <coughs> but if you don't know i used to struggle with depression and anxiety for many 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 years and it wasn't until i got delivered by the power of the holy spirit in 2020 and that's when i got set free so i may i may do a new updated version testimony talking about that so um, I'm all too well familiar with depression and, and anxiety. I know it's real. I know mental health is real. And so if anybody on this channel may be struggling with depression or anxiety, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay? I love you with the love of God. And I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the channel and have a blessed and amazing day. Bye. See you later. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. dedicated mentor who is devoted to helping you through the daily challenges of life you may have lost a loved one you may have lost a job you may have gone through a divorce or you may just need someone to talk to well if that's you don't hesitate to book your free 15 minute consultation and take advantage of your free first 20 minute session and don't worry, everything that we discuss is completely confidential. So what are you waiting for? Let's figure it out.